Hi, and welcome back to Just the Plants, ma'am, where we make plants for people. Today is Friday, February 8th, and it is day five of week six, which is my week of Tour de Vegan, Rule Free Raw Vegan. That's me. And it's basically a tutorial on how to not raw vegan. So if you're watching my videos this week thinking, hey, I bet this is a good way to lose weight. No. It's not going to be a good week to lose weight. <laughs> Let me just lay that out for you. Okay? Okay. So, I am just living my best life this week because in the next three weeks, I'm going to be having zero added fat to anything. It's going to be all fruit and then two weeks of liquids. No fat whatsoever then we're gonna add some fat back into our life but no carbs so we're heading into scary territory so just let me have this week to fully show you guys how possible it is to be a fat raw vegan because I can make you gain weight on any diet if somebody out there says that they can't gain weight on a diet send them to me <laughs> And I will show you how to gain weight on any diet. Guaranteed. <laughs> it's my guarantee to you. <laughs> Seriously. I joke, but I can do it. Easily. I can veganize anything and I can make something as high calorie as possible. Trust me. All right. Let's get this video started and see what kind of craziness I get up to today. 11, 10 a.m. and it's time for me to level up my raw vegan game and stop using the sugar in my morning dandy. I'm going to start using dates from here on out so I do not have to feel guilty about my dandy consumption. I also added some raw cacao powder and this seriously tasted like raw vegan hot chocolate. If you're a raw vegan who's been missing a hot chocolate or like a mocha latte, whip one of these up. <gasps> Thank goodness. Thank goodness for my drink. It's been keeping me friends in the nail salon. We're almost done though. So I need to go home. I think I'm going to be addicted to this drink. It is so good. Thank you, Allie for suggesting I do this today totally I was thinking about doing it yesterday and then she messaged me and I was just like okay obviously I need to do it now because all signs point to do it and it was you guys need to do it too mm -hmm. I hate fruit so much I ate two pieces of this and the rest was like slimy and disgusting so we threw the fruit in the garbage and I'm going to eat these crackers because at least crackers and coconut jerky and cashew cheese is never slimy and disgusting. I'm just going to happily munch on my crackers and cheese and cucumber and live my merry little life. I don't even care. 1.29 p.m. and I'm officially done with the crackers and cheese portion of this afternoon's epic snack parade. We will, however, be continuing our tour of snacks with this leftover peanut butter nabati cheesecake that I always have to add some jam to because peanut butter and jam, hello you guys, it's so good like this. I decided that the lemon sorbet that was hiding in the freezer for the past few weeks needed to come out and be devoured along with some of these maple smoke onion chips that we bought yesterday. Time for a taste test, friends. Taste test results say never, ever, ever buy the maple smoke onion chips. Always get the ranch. These taste like forest fire. There's good liquid smoke, like these coconut bacon bacon from the French Raw Chef, and there's terrible 
liquid smoke, like those onion chips I just ate. So gross. Since the uh, onion chips were such a disappointment, I am definitely going to snack on a few of these delicious bacon chips. My favorite stop on this snack parade was definitely the lemon sorbet. It just tastes so lemony and fresh. I could live on this stuff. I love it so much. And I also popped some of the savory crackers into my face hole as well. 3.13 p.m. and I have decided that I am in desperate need of another hot dandy drink with approximately, I would say that's about a half a tablespoon of raw cacao. Other people will call it cracao, but I do not prescribe to that notion that cacao is some horrendous thing that's going to instantly turn us into chocolate heads. All right, so let's just make this drink and enjoy. I decided to get real fancy and add in some vanilla and organic hazelnut extract. I am officially addicted to this drink, you guys. I could see myself living on this happily for a week easily. I could drink this all day every day and seriously not complain. Don't try me, you guys. Don't even try me, I'll do it. Did a very easy 30 minutes on the treadmill, followed by a very easy 10 minutes of bouncing on my rebounder. I'm going to speed things up and show you guys what I put in my dressing. So there's one whole lemon juice in there, some garlic powder, a little bit of kelp seasoning, a whole lot of onion powder, a ton of dill because that's the flavor I'm looking for, is the dill flavor. A little bit of Mrs. Dash, a tiny bit of maple syrup. I added extra because I like my dressing sweeter. If you like a tangier dressing, use less maple syrup. I made a giant mess with my tahini, like always, but I used probably about a tablespoon of tahini. Then you, that's it, you whip that up, you just keep whipping until it looks beautiful and creamy and like the best salad dressing of your life. And there you go. It didn't take long at all. It took like two minutes and you're done. You're laughing. You're happy. You got yourself a nice salad dressing and you didn't have to break out the blender at all. This is what lies inside my avocado, you guys. Can you believe it? This is the raw food gods telling me, you don't need any avocados in your life, girl. They're going to be bad from now on. I'm not going to sweat the avocado because it's 624. I'm hungry. I've got this gorgeous dressing and all these beautiful vegetables to be happy about decided to improvise on my salad and add all the nooch and I added a whole bunch of raisins as well just as a substitute for the lack of avocado. How did I almost forget about the coconut bacon? Hello? Use your brain, McFly. Why stop at coconut bacon when you can also add cracker croutons to your salad? I'm going all out. That is it. That is everything that I ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing every morsel of food that passed these lips. It's very eye-opening, to say the least, to see how I eat when I'm left to my own devices. <laughs> Because, okay, like when I was rule-free raw veganing to lose weight, I would have days like I'm eating this week, but it wouldn't be like six days, seven days in a row, no. It'd be like four or five days of eating low-fat raw vegan, and then two days of me losing my mind with the high-fat stuff. So you have to have perspective and balance in everything. Yes, you can be rule-free but not as rule-free as I was this week.
We can't eat kale chips every day and expect to lose weight. But I didn't expect to lose weight this week. <laughs> I was banking on the fact that this week was going to ruin me on the scale. <laughs> yeah. That's okay though. Like I said, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of crazy weeks coming up that it's it's not a big deal to me. It's fun to show you guys how fast I can gain weight on any diet. As long as I'm eating enough food, I will gain weight for you. <laughs> All right. I hope you pretty plant people have a marvelous day and you guys join me on the next video.